Hi, everyone. It's Aaron from God a Minute, and this is Yaffa, Sister in Christ. We met in our Discord many, well, how long ago, Yaffa, now? About many months ago. Quite a few months ago since I joined, yeah. Quite yeah. A while. About six months ago or something like that. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I can't remember. Yeah, if I can share her story, we're, 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 um, we're going to do baptism today and I've never done this online and yeah, has never done this before. And so this is a first for both of us. The, the one thing that we do have in common. I've never is... done this online and yeah. Oh, you got a big echo now. Yeah. But with your, in the background. No, it's gone. Has it gone? Yeah, it's gone now. Has okay. Gone? Good. Yeah. Yeah. We're, yeah. It's pretty good now. Um, we both never done this online, and so we're just doing this. And so, um, Yaffa can share her story before we get going here. Um, but we'll just say a word of prayer before we start. So, Father, thank you so much for this time and this, uh, really this dedication for Yaffa and for anybody else that might come on. And uh, for anybody that's watching this video later, if they haven't been baptized and they want to use this video to help them through a baptism, we are so honored and delighted to serve in this way. So, um, Father, just have your Holy Spirit be with us today, as short or as long as this is. And we love you. I can't wait to see you. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. So, I've got a little some scriptures to share, but why don't we start off with a little bit of a mini story, a mini testimony. Yeah, to share with us your story, how you found us, and when you got saved, and, and that kind of thing. And we'll go from there. Okay, so, um, I spent 60 years uh, looking for something um to fill a huge void in my life my life was a void um i felt empty and unsatisfied i was longing for something and i didn't even know what it was i didn't know and i didn't just didn't know what i wanted i did different crafts i mastered the craft calligraphy um felting sewing painting watercolors i mastered them all but as soon as i've mastered them that were it I didn't want it anymore. I knew I wanted. I still wanted something, and then um, until March 2020, and at 60, 60 years old, nothing in the world was making sense in 2020. Conflicting information on TV and internet, and I knew something was really, really wrong with the world. And um, I knew a little bit about the Bible from 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 being small up till six up till I was six. I attended Sunday school, so I had a, a basic Sunday school understanding of the Bible, and that were it. That were all I knew. Um, and something I can't even. I just, I just suddenly realised what's happening is biblical. What's there's something going on, and it's massive, and it's biblical. And I just thought, Jesus is coming. And I don't know where it came from. I just thought, Jesus is coming. And I went on internet and I thought, earthquakes. I'll go and have a look how many earthquakes have been. So I was checking the earthquakes and that, there were loads going on all over the place. So I thought, wow, volcanoes. So I had a look at those. And I'm racking my brain. What else did they say? What else do I know? You, I don't know I know about Euphrates River, but I did. And it was there were news that's drying up. And I thought, wow, this is really happening. And so I was sat downstairs and I, and I just, and all of a sudden it just dawned on me. He's been waiting for me all this time. He's been knocking on my door all these years. And he has, when looking back, he has, he definitely has been knocking on my door and saying, I'm here, I'm here, and I've just not paid any attention at all. So, uh, yeah, March 2020, fell to my knees at the living room, crying my eyes out, just so repentant, so sorry that, um, that I'd ignored him. So I was 60 years, 60 years old and I've just ignored him all my life. Um, so, yeah, I knew normal wasn't coming back there and then. Um, I was so thankful to Jesus for not giving up on me. Everybody else in the world has given up on me, but not him. I, I were on the, well, I was alcoholic, drugs, um, drinking, going out. All times at night, I were honestly, I were wild, and um, and it's all stopped. And I didn't stop it myself. Um, it's really funny because I was I was um, 
I had my nose stuck in the Bible then for, for weeks and weeks and weeks. And my son had come to visit me and he said, come on, mum. I said, uh, why are you not drinking anymore? And I, I need to think about it. And I said, oh, my. I said, no, I must not be. I'm not. And when I thought about it, it's like two months had gone past and I haven't had a drink. I hadn't thought to myself, well, I'll stop drinking because I'm a Christian now. Because I didn't know about that bit. I didn't know any further than just saying, I acknowledge you, Jesus, and forgive me. Um, but he stopped it. He stopped it. And I had a dirty mouth. I swore all the time. That stopped. And it's not like I've tried to. It just stopped. It's, it's like he moved in and cleaned me up. It's, clean, it's just, he's cleaned me up. Um, it's not by my doing. I've done nothing. He's done it all. So, yeah, um, I'm just so thankful that he kept on knocking at my door. Um, and I've been close to him ever since. Um, and then he gave me a miracle. Um, yeah. Going back to the 2020 thing and 2021, we all know what was going on at that time. And my daughter was a carer. And the mandate came, of course, and, uh, and she did. And I was devastated because I'd been reading up. And um, about three or four months after she phoned me up from the hospital, she'd gone, gone in and just walked in pains in her chest, I couldn't breathe, and they said, uh, they gave her an, a, a scan, and they said, you've got blood clots on both lungs, and um, they said to her, go on for a week, did he give her no medication, nothing, go on for a week, come back in a week, and we'll we'll scan you again, and then we'll go from there, because like, there's so many people going in with the same thing. So she came home and, and, and that were it. And I, I had total faith. I had absolute and total faith that Jesus was going to do this. I went on a fast the same day. And seven days later, she phoned me up from the hospital <laughs> and she said, Mum, they thought they got the wrong notes. I said, what do you mean? She said, well, they scanned me again and then they compared it with my last scan and there's nothing there. It's, it's gone. I'm clear. And it was like, oh, praise Jesus. It, um, yeah, it gave us a miracle. It was absolutely fantastic. So, yeah, um, we've prayed and asked him to help, and he did do. So, yeah. Wow. wow. That's amazing. And uh, and so March 2020 uh, was your moment of transfer, moment of, okay, I got this Jesus thing figured out. And, and all the changes came. <laughs> Ish. Ish. <laughs> well, the heart transformation is in your is what you would say is when you had your heart transformation in in March 2020. Yeah, is that right? Yeah, yeah. When, when the puzzle connected. Yeah, it was only when you were talking when you were talking in Discord the other day, and you mentioned and talked about baptisms, and I thought, oh, I haven't done that. I don't even I don't go to church. I don't attend church. My pastor is JD Farag in Hawaii, so I don't attend church. Yeah. Um, but I go every week um, and I listen to other and I, and I love my studies on every morning with uh, with Discord. I absolutely, I live for those studies. I love them. Um, it's a couple of hours of just friendship and it's, I love it. Yeah, so, it's yeah. been great. Yeah, we've been reading the Bible uh, since, I don't know, since September or October or something like that. We, we've we been reading about three or four chapters a day and, and Monday to Friday. And, and so now we're in the book of Acts. And so book of acts talks a lot about baptism and so about a week ago we're like we started talking about it really seriously do you guys want to get baptized and um anyway here we are we're doing a baptism um live stream with yapa <laughs> who's who's there quite often in our studies there so um and so uh well i've got all these verses let's share some verses let's read some bible and then we'll then we'll do it so um you know, what is baptism, and what are we doing here? Why why are we doing this? Well, I'll just read some stuff here. So Colossians 2, verse 11 through 14. In him you were also circumcised with the circumcision made without hands by putting off the body of sins of the flesh by the circumcision of Christ, buried with him in baptism, in which you also were raised with him through faith in the working of God, who raised him from the dead. And you, being dead in your trespasses and the uncircumcision of your flesh, he has made alive together with him, having forgiven you all trespasses, having wiped out the handwriting of requirements that was against us, which was contrary to us, 
and he has taken it out of the way, having nailed it to the cross. So Colossians 2.12, it says, You're buried with him in baptism, in which you also were raised with him through faith. And so it's sort of a symbol of us dying with Christ and, and rising with Christ. And, and Romans 6 is, is the same kind of theme here. So it's Romans 6, 1 through 11. You know, people can read that on their own if they wanted to. And by the way, um, if you are watching this later and you haven't been baptized, you can read these scriptures and and do it by yourself or, or do it with somebody that you know. And you can use this video to kind of just help you uh, do that. Uh, or we can set up another time to do this uh, online baptism. But um, Romans 6, 1 through 11 is a good reference. But specifically, Romans 6, verse 4, similar thing. Therefore, we were buried with him through baptism into death. That just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. So we're sort of partnering with Christ, dying with him and raising with him. So that's Colossians 2.12 and Romans 6 verse 4 with a similar theme that we are just we are just partnering with Christ there and what he already did. And um, we have Acts 2. So here's some stuff in Acts 2. Acts, Acts chapter 2 verse, well, Again, you can read Acts chapter 2, 36 through 41. But the point of this is, this is after Peter's explaining to them the whole story, and he, he's saying, you crucified him. And so I'll just skip to the, the main part here. Acts 2, verse 36. Therefore, let all the house of Israel know assuredly that God has made this Jesus, whom you crucified, both Lord and Christ. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart. And said to Peter and the rest of the apostles, Men and brethren, what shall we do? Then Peter said to them, Repent, and let every one of you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And then later on in that story, 3,000 were saved. But what happened is they were cut to the heart. And because their heart had a transformation, they're like, Now what? Now what do we do? Now what should we do? And he encourages them to be baptized. But the heart transformation came first. And in Acts 8, we have the story of, let's see here. We have the sorcerer wanting to be uh, baptized to receive the Holy Spirit. He wanted to purchase it. But he was corrected. And it says this in 8.21. You have neither part nor portion in this matter. For your heart is not right the sorcerer that wanted to purchase the Holy Spirit. Your heart is not right uh, in the sight of God. Repent, therefore, of this, your uh, your wickedness, and pray God if perhaps the thought of your heart may be forgiven you. So his heart wasn't right. He wasn't ready for it. But then we get into the next story right after that, which is perfect because it's Philip talking to the, um, the eunuch. And again, fast forward to the main chunk here. And it says in verse 37 of Acts 8, then Philip said, if you believe with all your heart, you may. And he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And so Philip eventually baptized this guy. So it's all about the heart. And uh, in Acts 9, verse 18, after Saul was blind, it doesn't say that he had a heart transformation, but you know that when, when the blinders came off, he had a transformation and he was baptized as well. And um, we have the story of, of Lydia. Uh, it says that Lydia, after her heart, here, I'll read it. Lydia, Acts 16, verse 14. Now a certain woman named Lydia heard us. She was a seller of purple from the city of Thyatira who worshiped God. The Lord opened her heart. That's what this, the word says. To heed the things spoken by Paul. And when she and her household was baptized, she begged us, saying, If you have judged me to be faithful to the Lord, come to my house and stay. So she persuaded us. But the point of this part is Lydia's heart was switched and changed first, and then she was baptized. And finally, the last uh, thing I wanted to share here, which was a very recent study in our uh, Discord a couple days ago, is Acts 16. Uh, it's all 25 through 34. But Pilate, Paul and Silas are, are in jail, and um, they're in chains, and they're behind 
uh, the doors, and it says that suddenly there was a great earthquake. So the foundations of the prison were shaken, and immediately all the doors were open, and everyone's chains were loosed. And the keeper of the prison, awakening from sleep and seeing the prison doors open, supposing the prisoners had fled, drew his sword and was about to kill himself. But Paul called with a loud voice, saying, Do you do yourself no harm, for we are all here. Then he called for a light, ran in, and fell down, trembling before Paul and Silas. And he brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? So there you go. His his heart was transformed right in that moment. He saw what he saw. It's like, okay, this God is real. Now what? And uh, so they said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And you will be saved. And you and your household. Then they spoke the word of the Lord to him and to all who were in his house. And he took them that same hour of that night and washed their stripes. And immediately he and all his family were baptized. So we can go further into more text. But really, the story, uh, the stories in the book of Acts is really about a heart transformation first. And then the baptism came after. And baptism is not a requirement. It's really just a symbol of, of what Christ has already done for us. If you read the two thieves on the cross, he didn't get a chance to get baptized. So, uh, but on the cross, Jesus recognized the, the, the one thief's uh, heart of repentance. And he said, you know what? I see your heart. I'm paraphrasing. But I see your heart. I see that you're sorry. I'll see you upstairs when, we, when we're dead, when, we're, when we've died. And uh, I'll see you in paradise, essentially. Paraphrase. But um, so the commandment is, I'll go to the last verse in Matthew 8. Uh, Matthew 28, one of the last verses here. Uh, the last thing that Jesus says in the book of Matthew, Matthew 28, 18. And Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. And, lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. So that's one of his last... Um, Commandments, if you will, not necessarily commandment, but, um, you know, mission statement, if you will. So here we are. We're we're on a live here and we're ready to do this. So I just want to you... say first, before yeah, go ahead. because I hope we're going to turn it off as soon as I've done it, because I'm going to have to. It's well, he's going to have to get me out of bath and everything. It's mm -hmm. hard work. Um, I just want to tell people about our discord um, that the encouragement it's an oasis in a world of confusion for me. It, the encouragement, the fellowship, support, both giving and receiving, Bible studies, discussions, we're like Bereans, it's brilliant. Um, and although the time zone problems for me, because I'm in UK, there's something going on every day, Bible studies, testimonies, music, worship night, and there's no need to feel isolated. There's no need for anybody in the world to feel isolated or lonely. This is here, this is here for you. And just don't be lonely, just come join in. There's a family waiting for you. And I love it. And we love you. Yeah, yeah, that, we have an awesome yeah. family. We have an awesome family in there. So, well, Alpha, let's just let's just make this real easy. Do you believe that, do you believe that Jesus is the way, the truth and the life? It's the only way, the truth, and the life. Yeah. And um, you believe in the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit? Yes. Yes. Is, uh, it's slipping. <laughs> I'm going to <laughs> well, you're doing great. Okay, well, let's just do this. Uh, I'll just read this verse, and you can baptize yourself and don't drown. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> yeah, in the, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. We baptize you and we witness you. Here we go. Round of applause. Yay! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your forgiveness. Yes. Didn't Amen. Didn't me like everybody else did. Yeah, you've been buried with Christ, and now you you resurrect with Christ as a symbol of what He's already done for us. And Absolutely. there's nothing that we have done to to change uh, change that. It's all what He has done for us, and so you, you just partnered with Him. So. Uh, praise God for you and thank, thank you, you so much. much. I'm sure you're all uncomfortable now and you want to get out. So, uh, yeah, it's yeah, the shirt and everything. So we will, uh, 
we'll let you go, Yaffa. And thank you so much for 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 thank coming you very much. Life. God bless everybody. That was Yaffa. That was very good. That was very, very awesome. And um, so we we don't have anybody else in the queue right now in the background. So if anybody else wants to come on and go come on the live link, I'm still going to just stay here and give you guys that opportunity to do that. I know I, I noticed somebody named Paula was trying to come on, but the screen just stayed black and maybe they couldn't figure out the settings. So we'll leave this up for a bit and... Uh, give you that opportunity. If nobody else comes on, you can, uh, if you have been baptized or if you do want to share a mini testimony yourself, please come on and share your testimony. You don't have to get baptized either. You can share when you got baptized. So the live link is in the description box and in the live chat right now. At the time of this recording, it's January 24th, uh, around 1030 my time EST. I can share you my uh, my story a little bit while we're waiting to see if anybody joins. Um, my story, I got baptized when I was uh, right around 14 years old. And uh, I wasn't an adult, but I was old enough to really understand what I was doing. And, and mom had asked me, um, hey, you want to get baptized? We're, you know, as a family, we're going to go to the church. It's up to you, though. It's completely your choice. And I said, okay. So myself and my twin brother, uh, we got baptized. We had we had a younger sister, and I I don't think she got baptized. I don't think my parents thought she was old enough to make that decision. And uh, that was fun. That was a fun thing. We we did it in, in one of those church bathtubs at a church. Um, <clears throat> it was warm as well, so that's good. But I've been baptized. I I've baptized myself in lakes, and we've done it a, a few times with other people. Everybody's congratulating uh, Yaffa, and that's great. I saw Christy pop on, but now she's gone. Susan says, ridiculous tears running down my face, ugly crying over here. That was beautiful. All right. There was some other scripture that I just had highlighted here of <clears throat> simply when Jesus got baptized. So I can read some of that too while we're while we're waiting here. So Matthew 3. Matthew 3, 13 through 17. This is when John baptizes Jesus. Then Jesus came from Galilee to John at the Jordan to be baptized by him. And John tried to prevent him, saying, I need to be baptized by you. And are you coming to me? But Jesus answered and said to him, Permit it not to be so now, for thus it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he allowed him, when he had been baptized, Jesus came up immediately from the water, and behold, the heavens were opened to him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove, and um, a light, a light, a lighting upon him. And suddenly a voice came from heaven, saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. And, um, you know, you know, he said that about Christ. This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. But, you know, again, when we get baptized, I'm sure God is viewing us as his beloved son and daughter as well. And uh, and he is pleased with us, too, when we put on the robe of righteousness through Jesus Christ. So, oh, all right. Here's Christy. There you are. Hey. How you doing? Good. I just... Wanted to join you and congratulate Yaffa. She has me balling over here. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was fun, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. And she's right. Such a special family we have. I just wanted to encourage everybody to join. She's right. There's no reason to be alone and be isolated. So, there were a few questions. Um, people had questions like, you know, I did it before. Do I need to do it again? And, it's just an outward expression, guys. It's, uh, you know, it's just something that only between you and the Lord, you know, know what to do. And if you did it before and you want to do it again, that's okay. I've been talking to my son, Alex. He was baptized when he was eight, but we've been talking about just reaffirming, you know, reaffirming that vow to the Lord. But 
certainly not the water that saves us. It's it's the Holy Spirit that is the ultimate baptism. But just if anybody has any questions about it, I it looks like some people did it with Yaffa at the same time too. So oh really? Yeah. I didn't catch that. That's awesome. Yeah, Paula, she did it at the same time as Yaffa. Ooh, yeah, Paula was. I think Paula was trying to get on, and, and her screen was black, and we we couldn't connect. So, um, yeah. I'm wearing the Buja hat because you are. It can't. It, it's not ever going to harm if you want to do it again. You know, I think in our hearts every day when we pray to the Lord, and he, because of the blood of Jesus, we all get a chance to start fresh every day and renew our commitment to Him every day, every single. You know, so if anyone feels led, it's certainly not going to hurt, right? So. Absolutely. Yeah. Again, uh, just to be repetitive, if anybody wants to get baptized, you can hop on the live link and we can do that with you. And uh, or if you want to share your, your story, you can do that. And uh, I do find it funny when some people, they fight baptism. They, they're like, well, you don't have to do it. It's not a requirement. And they fight it as if it's something wrong to do. Some people, they get really extreme. And uh, my my attitude towards baptism is, uh, why would you not yeah. do it? It's, it's, it's not a we don't have to. It's a we get to. It's a privilege. Yeah. And um, so it's similar to saying thank you. Like if you get a gift, you don't have to say thank you for the gift. You could just take the gift and run. But. Why wouldn't you say thank you? Yeah. And um, why wouldn't you openly declare your faith in Christ? What is wrong with that? And um, so it makes no sense for me when people argue it and they, they blast, you know, 50 scriptures as to why you shouldn't, you know, get baptized or something. And uh, so there you go. And we got the whole bird thing going on, too. Oh, so, uh, we're matching. Yeah. Yeah. I Well, you had your hat, so I got mine. Well, look at that. So, um, and when Jesus was baptized, it says like a dove, uh, a dove sat on his shoulder or whatever, right? So I just read mm -hmm. that in Matthew. But what does it say in Mark? It says, uh, Mark it descended 1. descended and rested upon him like a dove. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, maybe I'll I'll change the text to Blue Jay when we get to the word dove. Since okay. our hats. Okay, <laughs> I'm not changing scripture. Don't. Don't get mad at me. Okay, um, Mark 1, 9 through 11. Yeah. It came to pass in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And immediately coming up from water, he saw the heavens parting and the spirit descending upon him like a dove, but blue jay. <laughs> and then a voice came from heaven. You are my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. So that's Mark. And then what does Luke say in that area? Luke 3, 21 through 22. I don't think there's much context there, but let's see. When all the people were baptized, it came to pass that Jesus also was baptized. And while he prayed, the heavens was opened and the Holy Spirit descended in bodily form like a blue jay dove <laughs> upon him. And a voice came from heaven, which said, you are my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. And then, of course, lastly, John 1. 29 through 34. What does it say here? The next day, John saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. That is he who, of whom I said, After me comes a man who is preferred before me, for he was before me. I did not know him, but that he should be revealed to Israel. Therefore, I came baptizing with water. And John bore witness, saying, I saw the Spirit descending from heaven like a Blue Jay dove and remained upon him. I did not know him, but he who sent me to baptize with water and said to me, Upon whom you see the Spirit descending and remaining on him, this is he who baptizes with the Holy Spirit. And I have seen and testified that this is the Son of God. Mm -hmm. So all the Gospels share what, about Jesus. Uh, getting baptized and then he goes and tells us to do that the same and then the book of acts it's all about the heart transformation mm -hmm. something real quick uh just a personal story in case anyone needs to hear this or stumbles on the video i was taught uh the church that i grew up in was very harsh basically we went to church to be told we weren't making it to heaven but um 
I was taught growing up that you cannot get baptized until you're ready to be absolutely perfect because you get baptized and your sins are washed away at that point. You have to go under the water and your sins are washed away at that point. And, but you can't sin ever again after that. So do not get baptized unless you're ready to be perfect. And I think that that is something that we don't talk about a lot, but some people might think, and, and that is unfortunately something Satan has done a fairly good job of is telling people you can't come to Christ. You're not perfect. Um, and so people wait until they're just ready to be perfect, not knowing that they're never going to be and that any change like Yafa said in their life will, will happen naturally with Jesus. So if anybody out there, you know, uh, has been told that or, or thinks that they have to get cleaned up and be perfect before you come, you, you do not. Um, you do not. It's a lie. And in the name of Jesus, we just cast that out. He wants you just as you are. He wants you to come right now, just as you are. Bring every bad thing. Bring all the dirt. Come grimy and <laughs> wallering in the mud. Just come to him and, and he, he'll clean you up. So just to break that lie, you know. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, we have uh, Aaliyah trying to get on. It looks like your screen is black as well. That is unfortunate. We can't see you or hear you. I hope that maybe you're I think they to have to give a uh, specific access. The app or the invite will ask you if you want to allow. Yeah. You have to allow the video and the microphone. Yes, I think when you join the link, you have to allow video and audio. And I think that's probably what's going on here. So, um, but would it help if I got off? Does that? It doesn't make a difference with, with that. So, Aaliyah, if you can hear me, just maybe just try signing in and signing out again. That would be awesome. And, uh, yeah, go from there. So maybe they'll try again. Yeah, I, I just saw that they signed off, so maybe they'll try again. And uh, we'll we'll hang out for a little bit and see if you, you hop, hop back on here. Very encouraging. Thanks, everybody, for coming in and just uh, supporting Yaffa and whoever else uh, may or may not join. Mm -hmm. What else has been inspiring you, Christy, lately? I don't know. Just uh, just trusting in God. And I know that I don't know. I don't want to start crying, but just. My goodness, guys, whatever you're facing, when you just put your full trust in him, I'm, I'm in awe. I am just in such awe of what he does to come through and in ways that we could never imagine and really experiencing lately the, you know, when we don't know what we ought to pray for, the Holy Spirit intercedes on our behalf according to the will of God. And it's just so true. And what pleased God is our faith. What Jesus marveled at is our faith. And in those nitty gritty, scary, you know, valleys, when we muster up that, oh my goodness, that mustard seed and just show him and just cry out to him. I, I've in the last few weeks, just to keep the enemy out of my head <laughs> um, in a way and, and in an attempt to stay armored up, just continual, just repeating over and over and over again. I trust you. 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 And he, guys, he just comes through over and over again in ways that have blown my mind. I still can't wrap my mind around his goodness. And oh my, just muster up every bit you've got. Give it all to him. I thought I was before, you know, I really did. But just lately, I don't know, just the way he has shown up for me and in all of our lives and just been so present and so real. I just, my goodness, guys, I know it sounds cliche to say trust in the Lord, but read some passages, do like a word search on trust and what he promises you and promises us, those that trust him. It's just trust, 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 give him praise Give him so much praise. When something's going so wrong, praise him. When you're scared to death, praise him. When you're anxious beyond belief, praise him. Start finding reasons to praise. 
I don't know. He's just so good. It really is. And just draw near to him in prayer, draw near it to him in faith, draw near to him. And oh, I don't know, guys, I don't want to start crying. <laughs> He's just in our so weakness. Good. He is strong, right? Yeah. We, uh, we have somebody here, Aaliyah, that's trying to get on, trying to get on, trying to get on, and her screen is black. So why don't we do this for now? Why don't we, one of us, play the role of the person getting baptized and one of us play the role of the person doing the baptism? And uh, we'll use this screen to uh, to help out Aaliyah here. So we can't hear or see her. So um, It and looks this like it's trying to join through Telegram. Is Aaliyah... Is Aaliyah in times? She said, no biggie. Something is going on with Zoom and my settings. Okay. She might need to turn her uh, other apps off. Maybe that's what's going on. Maybe yeah. You have camera. to join through either like your Safari or your Chrome. Yeah. Got it. Chrome is better. And um, yeah, we can't see you or hear you. What are you talking about? What are you talking about here? I don't know. I'm just trying to problem solve and I can't really think of a problem. Oh, solving I thought situation. you meant like, didn't you say something like we're going to pretend or something? Yeah. So like, it, you know, if you were Ali Aaliyah, I would say, hey, do you believe in Jesus? I do. Do you believe that Jesus is the only way, the truth, and the life? Absolutely. There you go. Well, With be baptized in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And there you go. I think when I got baptized, it said, oh, is it is it working? Well, we Kelly, might be able to hear Kelly. Kelly. It's a new person. We got Kelly and we got um, Aaliyah. They're both trying. Okay, well, let me get off and see if that, at least they can have no. a bigger screen. No, that makes no difference. It's it's really just, it's it's settings on their end that uh, that's making it uh, challenging. So I think when you download the app, you have to approve the for video and audio. And... Um, I didn't do it through an app at all. You just clicked it. I just clicked the link and gave it permission. Yeah. So if you guys want to try and redoing it and, um, you know, letting the permission happen, uh, clicking, I don't know, approve or something, right? Mm -hmm. Allow. Allow. And then that, so that should do it. I do know that Google Drive works better than the other you know firefox apps sometimes that's an issue keep trying looking for that blessed hope i'm on my phone too i'm not on a computer yep phones might work better than laptops i don't know yeah she said i don't have a tried to log in my phone won't let me don't have a regular computer i use my phone for everything yep and another thing we can do is we, we can get you on discord and i can screen share as well but um that's unfortunate that we can't get you on that's but yeah yeah is saying they have to accept the terms maybe that's it you have to accept the terms all this technology can just all go this away. technology yeah i know i think when i was baptized i believe what was said was i just repeated after i believe that jesus is the christ the son of the living God, and I accept him as my Lord and Savior. That was what I said before. Yeah. And I remember being at work, I think it was like in 2010. Um, I had just went on a walk to Emmaus. It was a spiritual three-day walk at a church. And the walk is basically designed to just shower you with the love of God. There's talks and worships and all types of activities that go on. It's a community of people that come together and just shower you with the love of God. I mean, just incredible um, people, just true agape, brotherly love. And so I went on this walk and I had believed in Jesus my whole life since I was a little girl. So I had went on this walk um, and then like a week later, I started because I, uh, you know, managed hair salons and stuff like that. So I was always required to work on Sundays and it was bothering me. And I hadn't been to church in a while because uh, of the church that I was raised in. So church scared the, you know, bejesus out of me. But 
I remember being at work on a Sunday and just out of nowhere, I was like, I need to go get baptized right now. I wrote myself up for leaving early. I documented my attendance like I would have for anybody else. And uh, yeah, I, I wrote myself up, gave myself an attendance point, went over to the church to see if anybody was still there. And there was a couple elders still there and I just did it. So it just kind of hit me out of nowhere. I'm ready to do this. I know he loves me. It's kind of like all those chains of not being good enough fell off. So, mm -hmm. And what year was that again? I think it was 2010. I, I was okay. young 20s. I was somewhere between, I want to say like 22 or 23. But it wasn't until I stopped going to that church and being around religious people when I stopped doing that is when I started feeling the love of Christ and understanding it by myself. And he, he taught me one-on-one, -on -one, you know, instead of the corporate church, I guess, you know, it was the religious people that were keeping me from it, which is really sad, you know? Laura says, you think she thinks you're the same age. Um, there you go. I was born uh, in 1985. 1985. Yeah. We, um, unfortunately, Kelly's trying to get on again. Kelly, Michelle, and we just, we got a black screen. Darn it. Darn it. Is there something that you can. The other option is if you are, if you are a member in my discord, I can get you on discord and share your screen that way. And that usually takes care of issues. So yeah, that's tr Tracy saying, can we stream from discord? And the answer is yes. So I can get you in a in a voice chat and and get you there. We do have somebody else here, and it looks like her video is working. Let's see here. I I did see her video. Yeah, in in there, but now she's black black screen. What is going on? In the name of Jesus. I know. Open. In the name of Jesus, let's get this working here. What's going on here? I did see Sandra. I, I did see your video in the green room. If you can hear me, so now she's gonna try again. It looks like um, when I did my live stream, when people came on a couple of weeks ago, I had really no issues. People, everybody from all over the place were coming on with no issues. So, so this morning, I, I don't know why we have so many issues with people connecting, but we do. So, um, if anybody does want to hop on the Discord and just type in the general chat and say that you're new and we can try and get you on here before. Yeah. Colson uh, put a yeah link there. So I'll, I'll keep an eye on, uh, on the general chat specifically to see if anybody else is trying to hop in. Oh, she and... said Aaliyah joined discord. That's right, brother Rick. That's what I was saying. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so oh, 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 someone isn't happy. I love it. Aaliyah. I'm going to DM you. I'm going to give you a personal DM. I don't know if you know what that means, but we can do a video call through your DM and I can share and put you on the screen if you've if you're hearing me and we can do it that way. I'm going to add you as a friend on Discord and I'll keep an eye out for that and see if you respond to that. And so there's that. So we might get Aaliyah on through Discord, and I can put it onto this app here. Ooh, technology. Well, we'll just be patient. Yeah. Okay, Sandra, you were just going to come on and say hi. Well, Kelly, She's even if on Discord, but she doesn't have a camera. And Kelly, even if we just heard you, that'd be fine too. So you can DM me, Kelly, if you want to just do a voice thing too. You just got to work with what we got here. Yes, so. And there's also on the Discord, guys, if anybody sharing your testimony is so powerful, it's powerful for others and it's powerful for yourself. 
um, just to remind, let the Lord remind you of his love for you and to look back at your own journey with him. So we have those every Friday night. So if you guys ever feel led, please join the family there and share with us, sign up to do that. So, so you got baptized in, in lakes, huh, Aaron? Yeah, yeah, I did, and uh, I'm just DMing Alia there. I'm trying to anyway, in the in the Discord. Um, I got baptized in a church when I was younger, but then I, I probably baptized myself a few times in lakes. I actually baptized somebody in a lake, and then I said, "Hey, Kate, can you baptize me again?" Yeah, sure. <laughs> so. Yeah, I did that once actually. I I did a wedding party. I did the hair for all the bridesmaids and the bride a few years ago, and there was this girl that I had never met. Uh, she was one of the bridesmaids. I did her hair, and she just asked for my phone number. Actually, at the time, it was funny. She lived in South Carolina. And the wedding was in Ohio. She was up visiting to be a bridesmaid. She just asked for my number, you know, because I talked to her about Jesus and stuff. And um, she ended up moving. They ended up moving like two hours north of me in Ohio a few months later, just randomly. And she became my Facebook friend and she saw that I was posting stuff about Jesus. So we just talked a bit. And then she started. She said, this might sound weird. I don't know the rules, but. I want to be baptized. And I feel like the Lord is telling me that, that I want you to do it. And I, I have never heard anything like that. And I, you know, the church that I grew up in, I'm like, but I'm a girl. I can't, am I allowed to do that? And stuff like that. Anyway, long story short, we ended up setting it up. I drove up to their farm. I think it took me two and a half hours. It was in the winter. They have these big, you know, those big metal horse troughs, like the feeding, they're like silver metal. Um, she filled it up freezing cold out and yeah. And I baptized her there on, you know, in her backyard on her farm, but just funny how the Lord connects everybody. That was a cool experience for me too. So I don't know. That was a fun time. That was the only time I've ever done that. Oh, there's Elia. Let me see if I can get Elia on here. Okay. Hi, Elia. Can you hear me? Okay. Well, let's try this. Maybe turn off your screen in the background, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can uh, share my screen here. All right. Let's see if we can get this going. see oh my phone's about today okay is this oh, working out about... i hear you okay. you can hear me yeah hold on i hear you can the viewers hear me and you yeah do you want me to hold turn on. this off i hear you the one in the can background yeah hear me and you the, the, your other <laughs> device Wait. if you can do you want me to turn this off? The one in the background, yeah. Hear me and you. I don't know how to. Your device. Do you want me to turn this off? The one in the background, yeah. Hear me and you. I don't know how to. Your device. Do you want me to turn this off? Hear me. Oh, she's muting herself. I. Hopefully, we can. Okay, mute, mute you too. Oh, she's muting herself. I. Let me see here. Hopefully, we can. Okay, mute you. We are just having a um, a challenging time, are we? Aren't we? All right. Well, there should there's a video thing there. Here, I'm going to put you back on. Yeah, here. I see it. 
So there's but a video. If, well, there's a, there's a video thing there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put you back on. Yeah, I see it. So there's but a video. If, well, there's, there's a video thing there. I think you've got mm -hmm. something going on in the background here. Yeah, I see it. But I see what you're saying. Um, hold on. You have like a TV in the Give background. Me a sec. I see yeah. What you're saying. So we'll oh. turn that off. Hold on. You have like a TV in the background. Give me a sec. Okay. Okay. Check one. Check two. Yeah, I shut the TV off. <laughs> okay. So you shut the TV off. I'm gonna do this. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, I think we've got a reasonably clean sound here. Yeah. Praise God. And we can get your video on if you're up for it. Or uh, have you been baptized? Are yeah. You in um, in doing that. Hey. Yeah, I, I was baptized when I was twelve in a Lutheran church, and they just kind of splashed the water on my head. I was like thirteen. Okay, and so you weren't really quite sure what you're doing. And um, a little bit, a little bit, but I didn't really understand what like it was to be immersed. And I didn't really have a relationship with the Holy Spirit. I didn't really understand it. I just knew it was for the Lord. Yeah. And so uh, in your life, what's your story? Are you do you fully believe now in Jesus Christ? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So. Um, okay, so like I'm a recovering drug addict. Um, I was raised by my grandmother. Um, so like there was a lot of addiction in my family. So like my grandma basically taught me about God. She taught me about like how deceitful this world is. She taught me about like all kinds of stuff, like how secular music is very demonic. And like she would tell me stories that she has seen angels. And so, like, I always believed. Um, so throughout my life, I've always been, like, I've always read the Bible. I've always prayed. Um, like, I, I've literally overdosed so many times from drugs. Like, the only reason that I'm even here is because of the Lord. Like, I've just been through a lot, like we all have. Um, but God has pulled me through so many times. Like, I know that I am here for a purpose, like we all are. You know, and a lot of people don't understand who they are in the Lord. You know, it says we're a royal priesthood. You know, so, yeah, I've definitely been through a lot. Um, but I have seen a lot of spiritual things happen. Um, you know, and I try to tell people about these dreams. You know, a lot of us have visions and dreams of the end times. And they just think you're crazy, you know, and it's like, no, you don't understand. Like the Bible's real. Revelation is real. Um, the rapture is real. <laughs> so. Yep. That's perfect. That's awesome. And so, so here, God bless you. I listen to your channel all the time. Um, it's kind of funny how, you know, you must have read the Bible so many times to. Um, I just love the passion you have for the rapture. It's pretty cool. Well, thank you. How long have you been watching, Ellie? A lot of us do. Yeah. I, I've been sharing your channel a lot on Facebook. You know, I share a lot of people's channels, you know. Some people watch them, some people don't. So. Yeah. yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. And, and people how are long, caught up. How long have you, you been watching and tracking with the, with the channel? I want to say for the past year or two. Yeah. Well, yeah. thank you. That thanks for coming on. And yeah, God bless so, you. Do you are you interested in rededicating or rebaptizing, or you just want yes. to share your story? Or uh, I'm interested in um, rededicating. Okay, Re redoing. Okay, um, redoing. Yeah, redoing, rededicating, rebaptizing, whatever you want to call it. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, that's that's great. Um, no. Do you have a bathtub? No. How do you want to do this? Do you want to? Uh, <laughs> uh, I do you have a bathtub. Okay. I was wondering how this is going to go down. I have bottled water. We can do that. Whatever you're comfortable with. You know, it, it doesn't matter to me. Um, really, it's just an open <laughs> declaration sure. of your where your heart's at. And um, Yeah, let me go in the bathroom because I'm not about to dump water on the floor. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm over the bathtub. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Alia, do you, uh, and how, am I saying it right? Uh, Aaliyah? How do you say your name properly? It's Aaliyah. 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 
Do you believe that Jesus is the only way, the truth, and the life? Yes. Yes. Do you believe that he died on the yes, cross? Yes, yes, yes. That he died on the cross for your sins? Yes. Yeah. And, um, well, when you get baptized, you are buried with him, and then you're you're raised with him. And so I don't know how you're going to actually do it, but it's just a symbol of of your belief and just partnering with Christ in the, in this way. So right. in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, we witness and baptize you together. And go ahead, sister. Do, do it however you're going to do it. Yeah, amen. Probably, amen. Probably amen. got hair dye going everywhere. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you so much. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, thank you for scrambling through all that technology to get on here. Oh, my gosh. I can't stand technology. But it's like a, it's like a video game. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's just like constant like things you got to turn on and off. And you know what I'm saying? You, uh, it's, you can I figure know. it out. I know. But I know. God bless you. And um, I'll continue to share your channel with others. Well, God bless you too, sister. And thank you for, thank you, brother. Thank you for coming on. And that was a blessing for us to just yeah, hear Yeah, thank story. you. And, uh, and we'll you talk guys. soon. Yep. And, um, yep. God bless. Talk soon. Bye. Okay, bye-bye. Yep. Okay. All right. That was Leah. And um, if there's anybody else that wants to come on, we'll hang out a little more here. Uh, I know that some other people were kind of struggling to to make that work. So we have, I don't know if, if Jinx was DMing me to to do this or or not. Um, uh, I don't know if Kelly had jumped into the Discord. Let's just take a quick look. And we could I could also hop on a on a on a general voice chat as well. Let me go see here. Can you guys hear me in here? Jinx, were you interested in um, getting baptized? Is that... I'm not sure if we can hear that. Hear you there. Well, maybe just DM me if you're interested and we can get you on there. Okay. So we'll hang out just a little longer just just in case we we get a DM here. And if not, we will We'll carry on. And of course, people can still try and, and hop on the live link too. Technology. Technology today was not our best friend, but we, we got it done. So uh, thank you for the people that participated and attempted and tried. And if we want to do this again, we can we can set it up in Discord too. It doesn't have to be a live stream. It could just be also a another thing that we do in Discord without the glitchiness of it all. And um, so you can contact myself or any of my admins in Discord, and we can schedule that. Of course, you can baptize yourself with this video in the future. Um, so we'll leave this this video up, of course, and. Um, it looks like we'll end it here. And thank you for everybody that got baptized and people that quietly got baptized. And Lord, Father, I pray that this video can be used in the future to encourage people into a relationship with you and, um, and potentially even just baptize themselves in the future. So, Lord, use this video and use this community in general to glorify your name and bring people to Christ and to warn and to encourage and to uplift your name we as a community cannot wait to see you and um, do life um, through eternity with you so we thank you for this opportunity 
Uh, in Jesus' name, amen. And we have, oh, we just have Brenda that popped on here. So let's see if we can get Brenda on. Hi, Brenda. Hi. Okay, y'all don't look at me. I don't have my teeth in. Okay. <laughs> I was in an accident. They were all crushed in 2013. I actually came on to, I was baptized many, many, many years ago. And I fell away from the church. But I came back to the church thanks to the LDS church, which I know is a no-no. I, I understand that very well now. However, I'm thankful to them because had they not brought me back to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I wouldn't be as close to him as I am today. And I'm not with that church any longer. But he used them to bring me back to back back to him. So, God can use anybody, anything, anywhere, you know. Yes, he can. It's I had breast cancer when I was twenty four. Wow. And I'm sixty one now. But yeah, he can use anybody. So I guess my main reason is please don't bad mouth, not you, but anybody out there, any other groups of churches, because they can be used to bring individuals back to him, to where we're supposed to be. And we also learn a lot from going to those places. I learned things that I wasn't aware of that took place, and it was a good thing for me to see that. Yeah, well, that, you know, that's good advice. Try not to badmouth anybody. And, of course, sometimes there's moments when we do have to understand, you know, correct doctrine and things like that. But, yeah, generally speaking, my my thing is uh, we don't want to we, we don't want to put holes in other people's fishing nets, you know. And um, as long as people are pointing to Christ, we need to look past a lot of differences uh, beyond that. So well, um, there are a lot of differences there, which is why I'm no longer with them. Okay. But. It was the step that brought me back to my okay. Savior. And okay. I, I watch you guys. I live in the middle of nowhere. I have no vehicle or anything. So you guys are who I fellowship with. Mm. Very cool. Yeah. I don't know anything about the LDS church. So uh, that's okay. I'm just taking your word <laughs> for it. Yeah. But yeah, that's really cool that you uh, you just check in with, uh, with us and... Um, yeah, it's an online community, and a lot of people are in that story. They, they're they're isolated. They're on their own. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe they're disabled. They can't get out that easily. Maybe they're in an area where there's no reasonable churches, or you know, um, or they don't have similar beliefs or whatever. There's multiple reasons why people uh, are just in these online communities, and so we're just blessed to be doing what we're doing here. Well, and, I uh, really appreciate you guys. I want you to know that you're reaching a lot of people. And I don't think that you realize how much you are appreciated. Well, thank you, Brenda. I it's there's there's some high days and some, there's sometimes there's just some low days, you know, as always <laughs> with everybody. But um, appreciate the encouragement. And uh, yeah, today was fun. And um, tomorrow night too, if anybody wants to, we're doing a um, a live stream, just more rapture talk and more um, timeline chart with a gentleman named Trey. So you guys can check that out. But um. Uh, Brenda, uh, have you been baptized? I can't remember what you said. Uh, I was baptized many, many, many years ago, and I was also baptized in the Mormon church. And I'm not so much worried about being baptized with water again. I've been baptized with the Holy Spirit. Okay. And God knows my heart. I've done, you know, the public confession that Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior, and I will follow him until we're called up in the clouds, and then I'll still follow him. Well, amen, Brenda. Well, thank you for coming on and giving us a word of encouragement. Looks like Kelly's on now. Kelly, can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you. I, I figured guess. out. I just went out on my phone. Thank you, Brenda. Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you, Brenda. <laughs> <clears throat> I just went out on my phone. I figured it out to do it that way. 
It worked. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever the PCs don't work, just use the phones, right? Yeah. Yeah, the phones are the way to go. Um, tell us your story, so, Kelly. Have you been baptized? Do you believe in Christ? Yeah, I was Jinx trying to get on through Discord. Okay, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, um, I just want to get on and share my te my testimony. I've been baptized several times. Um, one was water baptism. Well, they were all water baptism, but the way I was taught is baptism, yes, it's an, an outward sign of an inward change in your heart. It's the sign to mankind that you've that you're you're saved, you're baptized, you know, you believe in Jesus Christ, He's your Savior. Um, but it's also I've been cleansed through a baptism. Um I had I was fighting with demons, you know, and things like that. And when I went and it was in Carolina Beach here in North Carolina, and when I went under the water, I literally went into a vision and saw this little tiny demon look like Slimer on Ghostbusters bouncing on the waves away from me. Mm. So it's not just that, it's a cleansing. It's a and through those I've also gotten deeper walks with the Lord. Um my my story of salvation is a hard one um i've worked i've walked a hard life but i thank god for it because i wouldn't be who i am today if i didn't um i've been homeless i was suicidal when i asked the lord i i gave the lord an ultimatum i told him if you're real show me because if not i'm going out this world tonight don't ever do that hmm. Because my life changed. He hit me like a ton of bricks. If you're not prepared for it, don't do it. Um, but from that point on, my life changed to the point that I didn't need church. Because at the same time, I got the Holy Spirit. He led me to where I wanted to go or I needed to go. And in that my mind has been so blown by the lord and so opened by god that i'm ready for the next thing you know i just i want to know more of what he's got to tell me but in my walk i've lost i lost grandkids and a dear loved one in a fire my mom in the same year and if not for my belief in God, I wouldn't be here today. He was the only thing I had to lean, to lean on. And he covered me with such a love and a grace that you, I, when people come on and they're like, you can't explain it, you can't. It's just, I was so enveloped in this blanket of love and in visions and knowing who God was because like, uh, Yaffa, Yaffa, did I say it right, Yaffa? Mm -hmm. Like she said, he never gave up on me. And had he given up on me at that time, I wouldn't be sitting here today. Mm. Um, and in that, that's really what got my walk with the Lord even closer. Because it's like... <clears throat> You know, when, when God takes the bad things and he uses them for the good, this is the good that came out of it. I'm here today. I've got another grandbaby. I've got, I've been blessed with eight grandchildren at 50 years old. Guess who gets to play with her grandkids mm -hmm. at a young age, you know? And I know they're all going to heaven with me. They're going to be there. We're going to play forever. Oh, and I love your rapture helmet, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, got my rapture helmet back there. Yep, sitting up there. Yeah, but I figured I'd get on and I'd just share a little bit of my testimony. You know, I've, I've been homeless. Um, I've traveled the United States. I've been, I guess you could call me kind of a, a, a missionary evangelist type person, not even knowing it, because throughout my life, I've traveled from the East Coast to the West Coast, either by bus, mainly by Greyhound bus, but I've met so many interesting people. And 
right now I'm a server and I absolutely love my job because I get to meet people. I serve people. That's what I do. I'm a server and I get to, to preach the gospel to the Lord or to the people of the Lord while I'm doing this. I get those opportunities and I just absolutely love it. And where, where are you located generally? I'm in North Carolina. North Carolina. Mm -hmm. Right on. It's a little warmer there than here. Yeah, well, I'm from Florida, but Ooh, okay. <laughs> I live in North Carolina. So, but I love it here more than I do Florida. Well, right on. Yeah. The Carolina area, it's, it's a nice even temperament, I would say overall, isn't it? Mm, yeah, for the most part. Yeah. We at least get four seasons here. Florida, you get too hot and hotter. Yeah. <laughs> Well, thank you for coming on and sharing your testimony and sharing some words with us, Kelly. That, that's that was really nice to to hear from you. I'm glad that it all worked out, and sorry for all the technical issues, but I'm glad you just hopped on your phone and you did it. I mean, it was sitting in front of me the whole time. I'm like, why didn't I just do that? <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Well, better late than never. So, Kelly, thank you so much for coming on. All and, right, uh, thank you. And we will talk soon. All right. Okay, guys, it looks like we will end this stream. So thank you so much for all the people that came on and said hi and shared their stories and, and participated in baptism. And I, I pray that blessed you. And so, as always, we have the links in our description box to uh, to join the Discord where we have community. And um, uh, until, until we meet again, we'll see you on a live stream Thursday evening, 9 p.m. EST. Ciao, guys. Stay carissi. We are one day closer. Bye-bye.